What's up guys, it's Tony Cannoli here with another review of For the Love of Dilfs Season 2, Episode 2. Um, Chase is here as well, but um, Chase is, he's shedding. He's a Shiva Inu, so he's in his shedding um, phase. And I'm shedding too, look at this. Ooh, ah, 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 shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Anyway, so you're probably wondering, where, where do we leave off? I'll give you, I'll give you the rundown. So Nigel and Rico really, really like each other. Good, I don't think it's looking good for looters. Only because if all the himbos aren't liking you and the himbo that you have doesn't like you, I don't know how you're going to make eliminations. So if I had to bet, I would think Looters is going to go home this episode. But it's tough to do this. I would pick Looters. Anyway, but enough stalling. Let's check it out. Okay, new daddy time. Here we go. That's right, another daddy is entering Dilf Mansion. What's the deal, y'all? My name is Ed Wing. Most call me Ed, some call me Dr. Ed. We have to pause. When I tell you that I would literally hop on this man, I would literally, look, I'd be arrested. I would be arrested on this thing because I would take out, I would take out, take out every himbo in my way to get to this man, I don't give a shit. And he's a doctor? Oh my God, stop it right now. Yo, when I tell you I was on the wrong season, I would have been diabolical to get this man. I don't even want to press play again. I'm just, I'm just gonna stand this guy. I'm, I'm the doctor. I'm looking for someone, you know, actually stay there, stay a while. Dude, I'll stay a whole lifetime. You don't need to worry about me, I don't expire. <laughs> I'm like a McDonald's apple pie man. <laughs> I'm good to the end of time. I have a problem. Saying I chose Rico. Oh shit, so he picked Rico. Now Rico is kind of with Nigel already, so I don't know. Usual type is osos or bears. Uh, oh, okay. So I like carrier guys, you know, things like that. Like, are you like strong back then right now? We are. Is he calling them lesbians? Wait, wait. <laughs> I mean, come on. I know they're moving fast, but come on, don't call them lesbians. Coming downstairs smelling the bacon and eggs, I was so excited, but what I saw is not what I wanted to see. Oh shit, Nigel's coming. Chase, make the popcorn. Oh shit, this is gonna be good. Get her, Jade. Yeah, wait, you might be tall and beautiful, but I'm short and scrappy. Sure, okay. Yeah, okay, so. Okay. Wait, pause. Y'all, it needs to be said. Sal is me. I feel like Sal is like an a more mature version of me. Like the ev like a Pokemon evolution. Like I'm Squirtle, and then like with enough training, I evolve into Blastoise. And that's that's evolution at its finest. We're going to play some old fashioned daddy himbo trivia. Oh, I would be so bad at this game. I would I would be like I'd be looking around my teammates being like Like unless it's like Disney trivia, like Disney seen it, like I don't know what this fucking shit is. <laughs> Which of these is a common mortgage rate? A, 30 year fixed. 30 year fix. I know that because I was actually buying a house while I was on the show. That's another story for another time. But I bought my house when I was on the show. And now you know. Fill in the blank. I'm living in their head. A, rent free. B, like a little mouse. <laughs> <laughs> living in their head like a little mouse. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be saying that for the rest of my life, not like a little mouse. <laughs> like a little mouse, Oh, Yeah, I'm stealing that shit. So the himbo's one. I'm gonna take Kane on a date. <laughs> <laughs> Making it sound like War of the Worlds, like, paw, paw. <laughs> I was a little pissed. I'm like, hey. <laughs> Sal just went, that is, that is quintessential. Dude, Sal is me. Me and Sal are like the same person. He's probably more cooler and I'm probably a fucking nerd. Even though I've had this really awesome date with Sal. N not an awesome date. It was the weirdest day I've ever seen in my life. I'm not taking me anxiety. I'll say Sal. Death with my chance. I'm fucked. Oh, nobody chose looters. Oh, that sucks. Just at that point, it's like, now he has like this reputation because Daniel's like, oh, he's so controlling. So the, the rest of the house probably thinks he's crazy too. Season one, Phoenix was going through 
everybody. Phoenix will be crashing some of your dates. Oh my god, no way! Dude, this feels like it was yesterday. It's Nick. <laughs> what are we talking about? Cheers to the line. Uh -huh. Cheers to what? Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> Talk about beauty and the beast. <laughs> no carbs. Have oh, we done the threesome? Watching this scene, I feel like the Grinch. I feel like the Grinch in that Grinch scene. Hate, 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 hate. Double hate. Loathe entirely. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. My God, don't sue me. And I was just not gonna go through that and look silly. I just, I refuse. Okay, first of all, don't shade my guy Phoenix. First of all, Phoenix looks fantastic in the flashbacks. So way to go. He looks like a fucking Malibu Ken. Um... <laughs> Made the decision that I'm going to leave immediately. And second of all, at least he didn't give up. Like, I'm sorry. I feel like Looters is basically being like, I'm not gonna look like a fool. And listen, by all means, you got one life. You do life the way you want to live, and I'm all for that. You control your story. However, they're giving you a chance to go, you know, make another connection. And if you're not gonna take it, then why are you really there? Listen, my daddy quit last year. If you wanna go, bye. <laughs> he said, bye. <laughs> hey, we're supposed to explore our options. I'm honest about that. I just thought it was kind of rude. Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna be honest. I'm on Team Aaron for this one. That's my daddy, that's my daddy. I'd be like, girl, what's his last name? What's his last name? I'll, uh, tell me what his last name is. If you tell me what Kane's last name is, I'll give you Kane. I'm waiting. You know, damn well he doesn't know Kane's last name. So I'm kind of for Aaron, like, you know, like, I think it's very ballsy of him and I, I very admirable that he's taken the time to be like, let's meet some different people. Maybe me and, me and Sal had a weird fucking day. We still made out. It was a great grinder hookup, but it wasn't love. You want more? And that's cool. I mean, explore your options, but Kane's kind of not an option if he's already taken. Okay, he's not taken, okay? Let's be, let's relax for a second. You're, you're making him sound like an animal on Homeward Bound. Kids acting like they're engaged and they're picking out names for their surrogate children. Like, let's all relax here. Okay, fine. Let me hear your reasoning, Aaron. Okay, pause. I think we have to say this, and I've been thinking it for a while now. Hey, Nick looks like Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> he looks like Sid from Toy Story. <laughs> he does. <laughs> and it's like, he's fighting over. Kane is Woody, and Sal is Buzz, and he's just fucking playing with these fucking two guys. And Aaron is Andy across the street, and he has no toys. Aaron, Aaron's alone. Aaron's toyless. I just gotta make sure, like, I remember that every single time something comes up like this. <laughs> I can't even do it. Oh my god, I'm gonna lose my head. I'll give him head. <laughs> Daddy's in himbos. Stormy has left Dilf Mansion. She's pissed. Dr. Dilf. Job well done. That was a great model, Anthony. Let's take it back. This time I want to see some tears, okay? Take the note. Go. I'm happy that we're able to do this. I'd be kind of friends on our in our date. Uh, I think we have a great connection on like a spirituality. Oh no, Aaron's in the friend zone. Oh, that sucks. I think Aaron fucked himself over. <laughs> Can we just take a moment to look at this art? <laughs> Put the fucking paintings down! Oh shit, Stormy's pissed off. But honestly, I'd be pissed off too. I mean, have you seen some of those paintings? That's borderline bullying. Does anyone else want to give up and leave? Because if so, don't let the door hit you on your ass on the way out. Amen, girl. Amen. So we can stick this out and give it our best so that you two can find your daddy. Oh my God, I'm like crying. I haven't cried since being on the show. <laughs> so everyone is safe tonight. Okay, so I will just say this. It's very funny that the first, in season one, the first daddy elimination was a self-elimination. And in season two, the first daddy elimination was self-elimination. I don't know, daddies. Chase fell asleep. He just couldn't take the thought of Nigel and Rico breaking up. Who do I think is gonna win this, this whole thing? I'm gonna bet money. I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet 10 bucks right now. 10 bucks I'm gonna bet the, the universe. I bet that Nigel and Rico are gonna win this whole show. I bet it. I bet it 100%. Next is a himbo elimination. I think Aaron's going home. I think Aaron shot himself in the foot. He's in the friend zone with Kane and Super Mario's over him. I'm telling you, he's done. He's out of here. I would bet money on it, but money on it that Sal is going to choose the new himbo. But anyway, guys, that's my review of For the Love of Dilfs 
season two, episode two. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and I can't wait to see what's gonna happen next because I'm, I'm kind of hooked. See you guys later. Bye.